Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be a contest entry video to my boy Cenric77. He just recently went, he's now over 100 subs and he's doing a giveaway since he hit the 100 mark. Big milestone for everybody here on YouTube. Uh, that first 100 is something we all strive for and I just want to congratulate you again on, on hitting it. I know you're going to go far above and beyond that. Uh, he's wanting us to, of course you got to be a subscriber to his channel, but he wanted us to show our favorite knife and he wanted us to give a couple of shout outs. Uh, we'll get to the shout outs in a minute. And I wanted to give you guys some titillation if you will. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a lot to look at here on the table. My favorite knife, I had to think about it, it's on the table. And, you know, anyone who's watched my channel for a good while, you know I am a, a big Spyderco fan, love Spydercos. It is the majority of what my knife collection is. It's probably 50% of what my knife collection is, at least. So, that being said, it would probably be real easy to go to a Spyderco knife. I mean, here you got the EDC forums, the Moon Glow awesome knife. Uh, for me, it's a safe queen. I'm too worried about busting up the scales to even want to mess with it. And I just, I like it. I think in the future, if I ever wanted to sell it, which is unlikely, but if I did, I think in the future I'll be able to get pretty good money for it. Uh, there's also this little guy, kind of inconspicuous in a, in a way. Uh, rare, hard to find. Copa. This one happens to have the turquoise inlays. I really like turquoise, got quite a bit of turquoise jewelry. And this one happens to have a, a collector's number on it. And of course, the oh so sexy, Titanium Military. What is there not to like about that? All three more than enough to earn itself a top slot on my fave list. However, for my individual favorite, neither one of them. Some of y'all are probably surprised it ain't that one. It would also be real easy to go to my grail knife. The one that I really wanted and pined for for a long time. The Sabenza. This happens to be the small Sabenza 21, the Freedom model. Uh, it doesn't get as carried carried as often as it used to, but uh, really for no other reason than I just simply haven't carried it. I do care. I have carried it. I have used it. Uh, it's also the most expensive knife in my collection. For my individual favorite, definitely, definitely could be, but it's not. You got the Tyray Kershaw Tyray composite blade, titanium handles with carbon fiber inlay. Everything about this thing is high-end and very unique. The, these two are hard to find. Not my favorite, though I do enjoy carrying it from time to time. You got the Brass Blade Silent Soldier. Uh, I think it's my only neck knife. So I, definitely my favorite neck knife, that's for sure. Uh, you also have the little Tough Toad friction folder from Tough Thumbs. Something about this little knife, I just like it. I really enjoy using it. It's very cool. You got the Kershaw Junkyard Dog. Uh, definitely one of my favorite modified no uh, knives by Tough Thumbs. With the jade handle, smooth and bubble wrap pattern. Mac uh, matching backspacer. Awesome knife, sharp as hell, composite blade. Not my favorite though. My favorite, save it for last, why not? Is gonna be the Zero Tolerance 301. This knife, I don't know man, it just does it for me. You got S30V blade, tiger stripes, um, tough thumbs hook this thing up real nice. You got the carbon fiber with tough thumbs. Uh, Geiger pattern, I believe that is. 
a ruby red liner and a totally tricked out ruby red backspacer as well. So what's not to like about that? I love this knife. Uh, it's big, it's intimidating, sexy as hell. That's just it man, I, I love it. So for favorite knife, if I had to pick one, which I'm glad I don't have to, but if I did, I think I'd be going with the ZT301 all the way. Now for my shout outs, I, I actually only just recently subscribed to these guys. One of them is courtesy of Senric himself. And if you've been watching his channel, you know that there was a little bit of drama going on with this guy. Knife Man 2000. Nothing wrong with him. He finally posted his first video, which is a big step for any uh, YouTuber. And somebody started, you know, some shit with him and kind of left a troll-esque comment. Uh, that has since been squashed and been resolved. Everybody, I guess, shook hands and everybody's on good terms now, I guess. So that's a good thing. Definitely check out Knife Man 2000. He just posted a second video, EDC related. Uh, he's a good guy, good kid. Definitely needs some more subs. I think he's in, he's uh, 30 something, 32, I think. And next guy, I just recently subscribed to him as well. Knife Guy UK. Uh, he's got some, uh, I believe some Expedition stuff on there, some knives, some EDC, all the stuff we know and love and definitely he is uh, definitely deserving of some more subs. I think he's at 37 if memory serves. So definitely go check out Knife Guy. Definitely go check out Knife Man 2000. If you haven't subscribed to Cinric 77, you're doing yourself an injustice. You need to do that now. I'm gonna leave a link to all three people in the description. So go hit them all up. Uh, subscribe to all of them. And I guess that's gonna be it, guys. That's my that's my video. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm out of here. Peace.